Ramalas, and here with me today we have Matt Coggan, who's a landscape architecture student at UNSW. That's right. Yeah. And Matt, you're also part of a group called My Power. So could you tell us a bit about that? Uh, we decided that we wanted to take a year off uni and do something a little bit different. And what we came up with was to cycle around Australia for the year. So um, it started as a small idea and then it developed into quite a big project and uh, the university was a supporter of, of the tour as well. And um, basically what we were doing was we were cycling around to communities around the entire coastline including Tasmania and uh, going to schools and, and visiting communities and teaching them about how to live more sustainably. So, Fantastic. Yeah. So you're a landscape architecture student, what is that all about? I basically, I was originally thinking about doing architecture and then I, I saw this thing landscape architecture and I didn't know what that was all about really and I learned that it's basically design, it, de designing everything except for buildings. So, and because I've always really had a, an interest in the environment, I thought, well, that sounds like it's right up my alley. So um, you get the landscape designer, um, horticulturalist, there's all these different um, tags that a landscape architect sort of lies under. But uh, basically what we do is uh, we design the outer spaces of the world. Okay. So that's, that's a, a large scale explanation of it. But, um, Basically, we, we work with architects to make sure that what's being designed with a building uh, is also being considered outside. So uh, we, we do projects like um, the, the grounds of a university, um, um, housing uh, developments like retirement villages and things like that with a lot of grounds outside, um, all the way down to the scale of Jamie Jury doing backyard blitz. But um, <laughs> there's, there's not many of us that, um, that just work exclusively in that field. It's tending to look at a much larger scale. So uh, for, I'm in graduating studio at the moment and we're looking at a massive area at White Bay, uh, just underneath the Anzac Bridge. And it's about 80 hectares and, and we're looking at uh, housing 10,000 people there. Um, and that includes like schools and all that sort of thing. So it also has a fair bit of urban planning in it as well. So, um, and with the direction that all development is going now with sustainability, then um, sort of our knowledge in, in the environment is a really important driver of, of developments of that scale now. So it's a um, it's, yeah, really exciting profession to be in at the moment. Definitely, yeah. So you've travelled for a year, you're almost finished uni, what's next with My Power? Um, yeah, well, this year we've obviously been really busy with, with all of our other things, but we've just been working on the next stage and uh, it involves starting up an urban farm in our area, in the Sutherland Shire. So uh, we were just lucky enough to get a grant from uh, the Banksia Foundation and uh, that's the $10,000 community grant just to get it started. So uh, we, we're going to be working on that towards the end of the year when we finish uni and then well into next year. So yeah, we've, we've tried to get a lot of uh, the polys involved. We've been down to Canberra and a lot of them are interested as well. So um, yeah, it's going to be a busy year next that's year. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, Matt, thanks so much for talking to us today. It's been very interesting and I wish you guys all the best for your future endeavours. Thanks a lot. Cheers.